Welcome to this week's video and this will be the last video that I'll be doing for you in 2011. And really what I want to talk to you about today is the importance of keeping your dissertation ticking over over the next four or five weeks. So you're heading now into a time when you've Christmas holidays and then you start focusing on exam preparation and doing exams. And so what that could mean is, is that you don't pick up your dissertation again until towards the end of January. Um, there's a certain amount that that's just going to happen in life, but what you need to do is you need to prepare yourself now so that when you go back into to picking it back up in mid and January, that you know exactly where you are and you're ready to start straight away. So here are a number of tips to make sure that that happens. The first thing is, is that although lectures finish this week, towards next week, there's still a whole week before Christmas. So even if you just said that you take two to three days of that week to focus on your dissertation, and this is in particular for people who've fallen behind with the dissertation. So use this time to, number one, write your research methodology chapter if you haven't done that. Um, email it to your supervisor by the middle of next week. Your supervisor isn't going to read it and give you feedback before the break, but at least it can be off your list and you know it's done. The second thing that I'd be encouraging people to do is, is to spend time working on draft research tools. And by that, what I mean is if you're doing interviews, that you've got draft questions written up, or if you're doing a questionnaire or survey, that again, you've got those questions drafted. Again, email them to your supervisor. You're not going to get feedback until January, but at least it means that you know where you are. The third tip that I give you is, is that you should take out a piece of paper and write on the top of it your research question, which you have all um, come up with at this stage, and underneath it write the three or four things that you need to do straight away in the first week that you're back looking at your dissertation. What this will do is, is it'll get you very quickly back into the mode of it and it'll mean that you'll be much more productive in that first week rather than spending the first week thinking, well, what was my dissertation about and I can't really remember what it is I need to do next. You need to really maximise the time that you have after Christmas um, with a submission date coming quite quickly afterwards. So you need to be back up and running, if you like, um, by the end of January and starting to think about being out in the field um, in, during February in order to collect all your data. So those three tips again then are make sure that before the Christmas you've written your research methodology chapter and you've also written a draft research tool in terms of your questions. Um, and the third thing is to make sure that you have a to-do list ready to go. So enjoy the break, the best of luck with the exams, and I'll see you again when we get back to semester two.